In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Lock Children feature within Affinity Designer. Before we do, let's clarify what we mean by the term children in Affinity Designer. A child layer is a layer which is nested inside another layer. This means a child layer is clipped to the boundaries of its parent layer. So how do you create this in Affinity Designer? Well, the document in front of us has an idyllic summer scene. Now suppose we want that scene to look as if it's been viewed through a window. If I select this rectangle layer here and switch it on, you can see that this could represent the window. And we want to make sure that the scene behind is clipped within the boundaries of that rectangle. So if I select the objects which I want to be clipped, I can select the first one and then using the shift key I can select the bottom one. And that selects all the objects which I wish to be clipped within this rectangle here. And now we nest those within this layer here by simply dragging them in like so. Now by default child layers will move and resize as you move and resize the parent layer, as you can see on screen here. Instead, on the context toolbar, when we have a parent layer selected, you have the option to lock children. If I switch this option on, instead of child layers moving with the parent layer, they stay fixed to the position they were in before the option was selected. And th this also applies to resizing the parent layer. As you can see, I'm resizing this, but the objects within don't resize. I can uncheck this, and we go back to the default behavior of resizing and repositioning the child layers with the parent layer. Lastly, demonstrate again. Now we have this option back on to lock children. They stay in the position they were in before the option was checked and only the parent layer moves and resizes. And that's how you use the lock children feature within Affinity Designer. Thanks for watching.